haul. Let's cook some dip. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard barbecue. I'm apologizing for the noise. My neighbor has decided that he's going to pressure wash his patio today because it's the first day in South Florida that we've had that it's not raining. It rained here for five days straight. I hope you can hear me. I hope that sound is not too loud, that pressure washer. Anyway, we're going to make some Cajun crab and shrimp dip. I'm yelling because I don't think you can hear me. Anyway, I've got some uh, uh, cream cheese getting soft in my bowl to which we're going to add some Duke's mayo. I want to get this Duke's out of here so it doesn't uh, curdle up. About a big tablespoon of Duke's mayo. I'm going to call it two. Two tablespoons of Duke's mayo so I can get that back in the house so it doesn't uh, get rotten. There we go. And I've got some uh, sour cream. Another couple of dollops of sour cream. That's your basic uh, dip ingredients. About a dollop of sour cream. Now I've got three spoons dirty. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, to that we're going to add a whole bunch of cheese. I've got a whole bunch of uh, Swiss cheese and cheddar cheese that I uh, grated up. Grated Swiss and cheddar. Get that in there. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad he's pressure washing today. Not. Anyway, yeah, we're going to mix that all up. We're going to add to that some uh, Cholula hot sauce. A couple of shots of that. Some Cholula hot sauce. That's good stuff. Now we got to put some uh, some kind of seasoning. Oh, he shut up. He ran out of fuel, I hope. Anyway, we got to season this. Now, I've got my choice of Cajun seasonings. I could use slap your mama or I could use Paul Perdome's seafood magic or what I'm going to use is tango spice Cajun rub now why am I using this because this is the last jar of this in the known universe because Tango Joe's not making this anymore so uh, I've been hoarding this hoping he would bring it back but he's not I talked to him about a couple of years ago he came to visit and he said it's too hard to keep the ingredients in stock, nobody wants it, so on and so forth. He's not making it anymore. So anyway, that's my uh, dip. You know, what I want to do is, I want to give away some Tango Spice to one lucky subscriber. Just be a subscriber to my channel, leave a comment on this video, and I will give away some Tango Spice. Merry Christmas to you. This video will come out after Christmas. This is the video I wanted to make last week, but I couldn't because of the rain. And I wound up with a stupid chicken wing video, but that's okay. We're going to get this uh, cheese mixture all mixed up. And I'm going to set this aside because we have to cook our veggies and our shrimp and crab. So let me get this uh, mixed up and set aside and we'll come back. We'll do the, uh, the uh, frying pan on the grill. So stay tuned. Okay, my cast iron pan is on the fire. I've got a half a stick of butter in there getting melted up. To that we're going to add some diced celery, about a cup of diced celery, about a cup of diced onions, and here I have some diced red bell pepper, a diced jalapeno, and some diced garlic. Now you astute viewers of mine will recognize that that is the Cajun Holy Trinity right there. We're going to saute that all up in some butter very nicely in my pan. We're going to season that with some Tango Spice Cajun Rub, which we already talked about. If you want to win some, be a subscriber. Leave a comment on this video. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's beautiful, isn't it? We're going to get that sauteed up. This is going to go fast from here. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going to get that sauteed up. You don't need to watch that. I'll bring you back for the next step. Stay tuned. The veggies have cooked down nicely. They're softening up. I'm going to put about a half a pound of shrimp that I diced up in there. You don't need to buy big shrimp for this dish. 
Uh, you're just going to cut them up into small pieces anyway, so what's the point of buying uh, jumbo shrimp when you're just going to cut it up? This is a dip after all. You don't want uh, big pieces of, of uh, shrimp in your dip. You want to be able to dip it and eat it with, on crackers or bread. Get our shrimp cooked up in there. And then I've got my crab meat. Now, I got uh, claw meat. And the reason I do that is it's about half the price of uh, lump crab meat. And it tastes the same as the white crab meat. It's crab meat. Crab meat's crab meat, right? So I've got about eight ounce, I think that's an eight ounce container. Yeah, eight ounces of claw crab meat. Crab meat is crab meat. It's in a dip. You're never going to know that it's not a white lump crab meat, which costs twice as much as the claw meat. $22 for a container of uh, the white lump, $9 for a container of the claw meat. So we'll get the claw meat in there and our shrimp. Get that all toasted up good with the veggies. Oh man, that's smelling good already. I wish you could smell that. And that tango spice, that's the best. Tango Joe, I wish you'd make that stuff again if you're watching. I don't know, he might be busy. He's probably busy buying beer for somebody. He bought me some beer. We drank all of Tango Joe's beer, but that's okay. I've got a Cajun beer for today. Let me get my uh, shrimp and crab mixture cut up and cooked up. You know, shrimp is the only thing that tells you when it's cooked, it turns pink. So we're gonna get that all cut up and cooked up. Then we'll add back the cheese. And then we'll bake this dish, and then it'll be time to uh, take a taste and drink a beer, so stay tuned. All right, the crab and shrimp are cooked up. What we're going to do now is dump that uh, cheese mixture back in there, back into the cast iron skillet, the whole thing. Dump it out if I can. Get that all mixed up, all incorporated with the uh, crab and shrimp. Then all we got to do is uh, put the cover on the grill, put the lid on the grill, and cover that up, get it all mixed up well, and uh, just bake that a little bit to cook up, melt up all that cheese and all that crab and all that goodness. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Looks good already. Let me tell you what. Get that mixed up real well. Get all that meat incorporated with the cheese. We'll put the cover on the grill. We'll bake that until we get a little bit of a crust on top of that cheese. Then we'll garnish it and we'll uh, take a taste, drink a beer. I got some nice uh, a baguette to eat this with. It's going to be good. Look at that. How's that look? Oh man. Does that look good or what? Oh yes. That's the stuff right there. That's the shiznit. Let me tell you what. Oh, baby, that tango spice is what makes it good. Get that uh, cheese all incorporated in there. Oh, yes. That's the stuff. You serve that right up in that cast iron pan. I'll show you. Let me get that all mixed up. Let me get the cover on the grill and get that all nice and toasty. Isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look like something? Looks like something you'd want to eat. I know I want to eat it. All right, yeah. Not too shabby, folks. <coughs> Not too shabby. All right, let me get that cooked up and we'll uh, garnish it, take a taste, and drink a beer. So stay tuned. My Cajun crab and shrimp dip is done. Here's today's beer, Abita Amber from the Abita River in Louisiana. That's a Cajun beer right there, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I didn't have any more Tango Joe's beers to drink, but I don't. Anyway, let's pour it out. You can get this at the grocery store, Rob, I think. Pretty sure. A beat to amber. A delicious beer that I've had many times before, and I loved it every time I've had it. It is wonderful. A beat to amber. It's a beautiful, dark amber. I almost botched it. Not quite. You know, the the uh, bottle's been sitting out here for a few minutes and it's hot out here. Yesterday, the day before, the day before that, it rained. 
Rain, rain, rain for four days straight. A beat to amber, ladies and gentlemen. Good Cajun beer. Let's take a sniff of that. Ah, smells excellent. Well, I know about this beer. This is excellent amber lager. Let's drink the let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, it's so refreshing when you've been cooking all morning, which is what I've been doing. Anyway, let me get some of my Cajun. Let me throw this bottle away. I can't even open the garbage pail. It's so full. Garbage pail so full, I couldn't open the bottle. Let me get some of this dip in my mouth. Stay tuned. Let's, let's zoom out a little. We're zoomed out as far as we can. Okay. Yeah, my Cajun crab and shrimp dip is done. I've got a nice baguette here. I'm going to grab a spoonful of that. Get it on my baguette. It's still hot, you know. Oh, boy. Look at that. Cheesy goodness right there, boy. Let me tell you what. See how hot it is. I don't want to burn my mouth. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my God. See that cheese? That is... That's delicious. I'm not kidding. Mmm. Oh, man. That is awesome. Babies, if you need a holiday appetizer, this is the recipe for you. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh. Oh, boy. I want to eat more, but I'm not going to. I got to talk a little bit. Uh, let me just say thank you to Tango Joe for during the year he sent me four beers. They were all excellent. Today we drank and a beat the beer. We used up the last, almost the last of my Tango Spice Cajun rub. I don't know what I'm going to do when this is gone. I got enough for maybe one more dish. See that? Anyway, be a subscriber. Uh, like this video. Leave a comment. I will send one lucky subscriber some Tango Spice Christmas present from me to you. Also, make yourself this. I'll put a in the description will be a link to Tango Joe's website where you can buy some Tango Spice. You can't buy Cajun Rub, but you can buy his other great spices. Of Midnight Espresso, Rome is Burning. He's got lots of great stuff in there. And uh, I'll also put a written recipe for this dish. It's awesome, I gotta tell you. It's delicious. I can't stop eating it. I want more as soon as I can get some more in my mouth. Anyway, that's my video. You know what I always say. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, Go up in the iCard and visit my buddy Patrick down in Australia, Patty Joe cooking. He's a cool dude. Go check him out. Come back next week, I hope. Let me get some more of this in my mouth. This is so delicious. I can't tell you the cheesy goodness of this. Oh my gosh. I wish you could see the cheese pull. Look at the cheese. <laughs> the cheese is hanging off of that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what. One of my best recipes, ladies and gentlemen. Go check it out. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. See you next week, okay? Bye.